hello and welcome again to aa on gardening today's video we're looking at some of the benefits of the guava leaves guava leaves benefits <music> Welcome again to AA Home Gardening. Guys, today I'm going to look at the benefit of the guava leaves. Yes, guys, not the fruit itself. Everyone knows the fruit is nutritious, it's sweet, it's nice, especially if you have a tropical guava. Guys, it's so nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And the guava jam, not to mention the jam, guys. Guava is so good. But today we're going to look at the benefits of the leaves. So you can see one of my beautiful guava. You were here on the journey when I got those delicious guava from the motherland from Africa. And I show you how I sow the seeds and everything. And guys, this is one of my beauties. You know, I had loads. I sell loads. I gave away loads. And now we're in January. It's the heart of the winter. So you're going to find that some of the leaves start to drop and everything like that. But well, usually, you still have a couple of leaves by the time spring comes around. They don't all fall. So I would say they're kind of an evergreen because this is my second winter, overwintering them. And they've never lost the entire leaves. They always have some left over. Some will fall, but not all of them. The only problem I have as well, sometimes I have the scales. So you have to be careful. You go through, take them off. But guys, did you know? This make the most refreshing tea, guys. Mother Nature is so good. Most of us sometimes focus on the fruits itself, but the leaves, oh, guys, you need to try it. But it's kind of difficult if you're living in a cold region because you probably won't have the plant. But I sell them on Estee if you want some as well. So you probably won't have the plants. They just probably get the fruits at the Asian shops. But if you add the leaves, guys, make some tea with it. You know, lots of people suffer from high blood pressure, diabetes, and all those things. And this tea will help you with all those things. It's also good for your high health because it's loaded with vitamin A and things like that. Guys, go and do your own research. I'm no doctor. Remember that? This is just some of the things I'm telling you about. I actually have a brother as well. It's so coincident. I was planning to do this video. And I was speaking to him and he was like, oh, I'm just in my back garden. It's one of the garden that I featured when I was in Jamaica. If you haven't seen that, my Jamaican garden tour, that's the same brother. Go and have a look. So he was in the garden and he was saying, oh, I need to go and make some guava leaf tea. And I was like, that's coincident because I'm just about to make a video on the benefit for my subscribers and viewers. So guys, it's smooth your stomach ache, you know, if you have stomach cramps or things like that, then your guava tea is good. It's good for oral health. If you have a sore um, gum or a slight toothache or you have bad breath or anything like that, the guava leaf tea is good for that as well. Guys, even with acne, I mean, I'm a bit old for acne now, but if you have acne or anything like that, then it'll help to clear up your skin and everything like that. And you can boil the tea, cool it, no sugar, okay? So boil the tea, cool it, and then you can massage it into your hair, and it helps with hair loss. Guys, there's so much benefit in nature, guys. Let's, for 2024, let us do some more research ar around our plants and everything and how it can help us, guys. There's so much medicine in nature. Let's go out, do our research, ask questions, and incorporate it into our routine, guys. So it's actually helped with allergies as well. I'm definitely going to try this for this spring because I do sometimes have a lot of a fever issue. In the springtime, you know, I cannot get out of the garden, <laughs> yeah. And I will go in the garden, I will sniff every bloom that's opening up. The only caution is etc. with the sunflower. I normally make sure there's no bees there first, and then I sniff all over, and then I'm having a sneezing fit sometime because I do have allergies, but I think it's more from cut grass. But with the allergy this year, I'm gonna try with the guava leaf because it says it helps with the allergy, it releases your allergy. So I'm gonna try that, and then next year I'll come back and tell you 
if it actually helps or probably in the late autumn i'll do a video and let you know but guys do let me know do you use your guava leaves or do you just consume the fruits only we love to learn on this community guys so put in the comment section if you consume the guava leaf tea and let me know if you have seen any differences for what you're trying to use it for so we can all learn from each other so guys please please and also it also helps with premature aging okay so i mean i'm a bit youngish <laughs> so i'm not having any wrinkles or anything yet hopefully not so it says that um it helps with premature aging and everything like that it says skin can glow and you look beautiful you know there's so many things we can use with our chemical guys okay so for 2024 let us dig deeper into our herbs or plants and see how we can benefit from it okay so remember put in the comment section how you use your guava leaf tea leaves for the tea or what do you do with your guava leaves or do you consume it or let us all communicate in the comment section so guys so this is just a quick video of my guava they're doing superb guys i have more than one i have couple planted all over i have seedlings i have so many i even went to costco late last year and i got these massive asian ones and i'm growing those as well so i have seedings of those coming up i always try to keep these beauty because i think the, le the, the the leaves of it itself i just think they're superb so i just love to keep them as a plant lots of people would be saying they're tropical plants these probably not gonna fruit until five years time all those things but i'm growing them also to make tea guys the fruit gonna be a bonus and i'm looking forward for when it blooms and fruit for me but at the moment i'm just enjoying the tea from these um tropical plants because i don't tend to buy tea bags or anything like that i tend to use the leaves from my garden you know my lemon bar my fever grass you know my guava leaves my raspberry leaves mulberry leaves i try to do natural tea guys so some oh and the sour sap i need to do a video on the sour sap again for you guys i have so much sour sap now so now i grow those that can make tea because they're so beneficial to the system guys so until next time guys from my beautiful garden to yours i see you on the next upload take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell